are you interested in how i record and edit my videos if yes please watch this video till end if you are new to my channel i make videos for a big data technology so mostly my videos are kind of tutorials and in this video i am going to tell you how i record and edit my videos the process is same even if you are making a tutorial videos for any of the technology so let's jump right to my computer screen and see how i get started with making one new video So first of all let me tell you what all softwares I use. Firstly for screen recording I use ShareX. This is the application that is available on Windows Store and this is an open source application. If you want this you can go to uh, Windows official store and you can search with ShareX. So this is the application that I use. The reason for using this application is uh, first of all this is open source. This is free to use. And also this supports external microphones. You can configure and uh, get a higher quality audio uh, in case you have an external uh, microphone. There are another options uh, that are mostly paid like Camtasia. OBS gives me some issues so that is why I don't use that. This is very lightweight and it's my purpose. Now coming to uh, video editing. So I use uh, DaVinci Resolve. The latest version available right now is uh, DaVinci Resolve 16. I use 15 uh, I installed it quite a while back and haven't updated but I don't see any features that I'm missing out in DaVinci Resolve 16 again the reason that I use uh, DaVinci Resolve is uh, this comes in two versions that is if you go to download you can see this comes in two uh, versions that is DaVinci Resolve 16 and DaVinci Resolve Studio Studio is for more professional work and uh, normal DaVinci Resolve is uh, for basic editing and mostly the beautiful thing in this is there are not much of the difference if you are not uh, a very uh, studio level editor mostly uh, the differences come in uh, while color grading and uh, uh, some uh, rich features that you want to include in your video so for my purpose and for most of the tutorial type videos editing can be easily done with uh, the normal davinci resolve few other options are there like uh, premiere pro filmora i don't use that not only that is paid but uh, DaVinci Resolve is uh, far more better just uh, there is a slight learning curve but still it is uh, very easy to learn uh, as compared to Premiere Pro and Adobe products like Premiere Pro are uh, very heavy on the pocket they come with a subscription model as you all know mostly all of the products and let me tell you one thing I never use uh, pirated software because being a person that is into computer field from more than seven eight years if I still go for pirated uh, softwares and if I don't understand the criticality of uh, using the pirated softwares that would be the dumbest thing to do so I request you all to uh, especially on Windows do not use any pirated software if you love your data and in any form you don't want to make a fool of yourself and even if you are on uh, Mac or Linux I would suggest uh, not to use there is no need actually uh, for Linux people mostly all of the purpose can be solved by, by the um, open source softwares and even on Mac I would suggest do not uh, use hacked cracked or pirated softwares so this was for video editing and coming to creating my thumbnails uh, the software that I use for creating all these thumbnails is uh, GIMP that is again an open source software which is very equivalent to Adobe Photoshop if not professional at that level but up to 75-80% it can uh, fulfill your requirements if your requirements are limited such as creating uh, YouTube thumbnails so these are the few things that I use for recording I use uh, Boya M1 mic this is a normal caller mic that you can easily get for somewhere around 1500 to 2000 as a part of this video I'm not using this mic the reason is I have to show how I edit my videos in this in that case uh, I also have to listen to the sound and this is only the mic if I plug it into my uh, audio jack I won't be able to hear any sound so that is why as of now I am using a normal earphone so my uh, sound might be a little feeble but usually i uh, use this mic for all my tutorial videos and for uh, such special requirements where i have to record while editing my videos i don't have any advanced kind of setup so that is why i'm using the normal earphone mic so let's uh, jump right away into how i start with uh, my video editing 
Once all this uh, recording is complete, I stop this and it generates a video file along with the audio. So I copy it into some folder. Suppose as of now, my next pending edit is deploying Spark on Hadoop cluster. So this is what I'm going to edit. I haven't started editing. This was the previous video, handle missing values in uh, PySpark. If you have not seen this video, let me promote it here also in the i button now let's jump to editing my uh, another video that is deploying PySpark on hadoop so these kind of files i get uh, first thing is uh, as my introduction that i record it is uh, from my mobile camera so that is one of the file that i have to consider again while recording the video from mobile camera i'll play this so while recording this video uh, my camera placement is a little bit far from uh, myself and i have option to place this particular caller mic directly into my phone but this external mic works in mobile and android mobile phone uh, only if i use the open camera application and i don't i do not find the quality of that uh, much appealing so i use the normal camera application and which does not support this external mic so for that reason i have to record this mic uh, audio into my laptop so this particular mic is currently attached to my laptop and the audio is being recorded and which is getting saved in my laptop so this is actually the audio how you can uh, place the same so this is my introduction uh, speech that i have recorded this i have to get in sync with this audio uh, so that my intro gets correct and this is the actual video that i have recorded with the share as i told while coding so somehow I have to use all these three artifacts and build my final video. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve, the software that I use and we'll try to briefly explain how uh, I edit all those uh, things and how I synchronize the audio with the video and integrate all those titles and video effects that are being used in my video. So this is the first interface that you can see. I'll create a new project. Uh, let's say deploy and create so this is the first interface davinci resolve provides a few tabs here that is media edit fusion so let me import my artifacts here first of all i need all this it didn't get imported So this asks me if I want to change the frame rate of uh, this is my current project that might be at a different frame rate and uh, the videos I have recorded that might be a different frame rate. So it is asking if you want that to get in sync. I'll say change. Okay. Now uh, I have to first synchronize my introduction. So let me drop my introduction here and the audio that I have recorded for this introduction. So I'll keep it right here. And now we have to see this waveform. In the first time it would, might seem a little uh, tricky, but it's not actually. This audio and video, these are recorded by one source. So I can easily link them. But I cannot link the audio from my mic to this video because the sources are different so let me see to sync it see as the part of our and in audio i might have started from here so as the part of our yes correct so i'll drag it here and i'll try to sync and i'll sync it till my audio and video are in uh, sync so it's almost there. I have uh, synchronized my video and audio. These are the few tasks that you have to do if you are using different sources and you, as I don't have very high end setup, I have to do this uh, little tricky things. Now it seems like my mic, so is, the part uh, mic volume, mic volume is uh, too much. So I'll reduce it a bit. Yeah. And I don't need all this junk. So I can go ahead and remove this. And this is my final. So as the part of our life. Also, I have the audio. No. Also, I have the audio now. So I don't need uh, the audio which is recorded along with this video. So what I will do 
I'll unlink this and I'll remove this audio. So the audio along with the video with that was recorded is gone and I'll attach this through here. Now let's listen to the output and let's see my lips are getting in sync with the audio or not. So as the part of our last session, we have already built the code to read. So it sounds perfect. Let's see how much we have to take. Read the data and clean it and filter out all the missing values from the data frame. So I have taken a little pause here. So let me trim it out and the video as well and we don't need this and clean it and filter out all the missing values from the data frame and that's all I think. Similarly whatever pauses I have taken I'll eliminate them I'll just check what the parts of it I want to take and rest of all I'll eliminate. So finally my introduction is done and after this I want to run my intro slide I mean the intro animation and that is also I have saved the file somewhere let me see this is my intro text that you usually see in my videos I'll take it I'll drag it here and again this doesn't have the exact resolution I have to I have to make an animation for this uh, this doesn't have the exact resolution so I have to fix this is my screen and this is coming in the square box so to expand it I'll click on this go on to the frame and zoom it so yeah. now it seems like uh, the intro animation is there also along with this you can see till here my Start voice was and there run it on, yeah. and after that this is a, a mute uh, kind of uh, animation where there is no sound what I will do I will take some music so uh, I wanted to tell you that YouTube closely monitors that whatever music that we are using that should not be any proprietary or any royalty based uh, music so for helping many youtubers YouTube itself provides some royalty free tracks that I have downloaded so I have saved it many are there I have just downloaded a few of them so let me take this particular audio and I will take this also into my project. I will drag it here. I will see what from where I need to take the music. So it is fine seems like from here I can take and this part I can remove. And now you can see when this intro animation plays we will have the sound here. Turn it on yarn. Volume is too much. Let me reduce it. Now I want it till here only. I'll make a cut and delete the rest of it. So my introduction and intro slider is uh, complete. Now coming to the actual video. Again, same process we will follow and uh, we'll make the cuts where I have uh, not spoken anything, and we'll take the rest of it wherever I have uh, explained the whatever things I am as the part of that tutorial. One more thing uh, usually why recording external mic the external mic is very sensitive uh, to the sounds so usually it uh, records most of the noises when uh, someone is not speaking when someone is, the, is speaking that records exact uh, voice if someone is not speaking it might catch some uh, noise like the fan noise or someone far away from you is speaking it will catch that so for that i need some kind of uh, automatic noise reduction so in davinci resolve we get uh, that automatic noise reduction function for professional usage uh, they cannot be using any automated function uh, the professionals use softwares like adobe audition or there is a different application for mac like logic but i don't need that much so for my purpose i'll go to light Fairlight effects and inside this I can find a function noise reduction. I will take this and drop it here and here I will enable auto speech mode and that should serve the purpose. So noise will be uh, reduced to an extent. 
again we'll start the same thing uh, now you can see this audio and video they are uh, not linked i have to cut them separately but anyways these are from the same source that is my laptop so for this reason i can select them both and link them so i think now i can select them together if the audio and video are not from the same source uh, even if you try selecting and linking them you will not be able to do that and uh, suppose uh, after finishing my intro animation i want this some transition uh, while starting this video so we have options for video transition so let's suppose i want to add some transition over this like arrow iris now you can see when my video transitions from this clip to this clip it will have an uh, arrow kind of animation so this is the so there are multiple such animations push slide barn door box if i use barn door there one we put that we if i use it here now the animation will be changed so this is the so you can explore all these options if you want to use now let me quickly edit it uh, clip out all the not required things also if you want to know that uh, what is the configuration of the machine that i'm using i'm using uh, core i5 8300h the 16 gb of ram and it has a 4 gb of nvidia uh, 1050 ti graphics card that you can see here nvidia geforce uh, gtx 1050 ti and once i am finished uh, after uh, cutting and uh, placing all the transitions and everything while i render i'll also show the usage of all the resources in case you want to buy a laptop for editing i'll also show how much any standard video editing application uses uh, on your resources of your uh, computer as of now you can see 7 gb memory is occupied while editing and placing the transitions and titles it might go beyond 12 or 13 gb so once i insert some uh, 3d titles uh, in that case uh, i'll show you the usage as of now you can see the gpu is not being used because uh, as of now we are just making the cuts and clips also not using any of the uh, 3d titles so once all the titles are placed and the cuts are being done while rendering when all that components the titles and uh, the noise reductions that we have placed and the, all the animations once that uh, part gets uh, start rendering into final video in that case the gpu utilization starts to pick up so usually uh, only two things uh, use the gpu to its most that is a video editing app and if you play some games so for video editing machine gpu is a critical component otherwise first of all your work will be slow and uh, second of all you might lose your project because the application the video editing applications might uh, start to crash now moving back to cutting my videos let me fast forward again okay. so now almost i am done with the clipping it took a lot of time now along with this recordings i have also recorded a few of the middle clips that uh, i want to insert into these videos because uh, after recording uh, you realize that we have faced some issues and uh, a few more points regarding the topic that you want to insert into that video as a part of middle clips so i have few clips like that that i want to insert i faced one issue uh, while deploying the application to yarn for uh, non technical people if you are watching this just for the video editing stuff uh, this is one of the clip that i wanted to insert after my uh, original video was recorded so let's see how we can do that let me import these two videos as well one of the videos i want to insert quite in beginning so let's see i finalize this is the point where i want to insert uh, this particular video so what i have to do i have to shift all the videos from here so i'll place my marker here and there is a shortcut y so this will select all the videos uh, all the clips till the end so now, now i'll hold this and i'll drag to some limit and make some space for the new video i think this should be enough and i'll drag this particular video and if you want you can drag it to uh, drag it over this just to see you are not messing up with the original timeline and you can see i am messing actually so let me drag it select all and scroll back 
this is a pi spark application guys so i have mentioned this uh, message as a part of my middle clip and now i am going back to uh, my do video watch this video till end so when you are deploying any applic okay in similar way i have one more clip that i want to add so similar way i'll make some space and add that also so fine this is all my video clips now my next task is to add the titles and transitions titles are nothing but the text uh, informative text that you are seeing on the screen while a video is running let me play a video from beginning and quickly add, keep adding the titles build the code to read the data and clean it so in the starting also i want to add one of the transition let it be push on yarn so this is how it looks like we built on our last row let me play the video and see where uh, all the titles are necessary uh, i'll place the title there only uh, make sure you watch this video till end so suppose where i say watch the video till end i want to add some title so let me see what all options i have i'll go into the toolbox titles menu and here i have different options to add the titles let me show you how few of the titles look like here you can see if i want to add lower third corporate corners lower third means this side of the video so i can drag it like here and if i sure you watch this video till end because that is so this is how the titles will come and uh, we have the options for 3d titles as well as the normal text 2d title uh, let me try some 3d titles i'll remove this with a backspace make sure you don't hit delete while deleting the titles it will mess up your uh, video and audio timelines so delete it with backspace so let's suppose i'll try this 3d title neon outlines let's see how this looks like this video till end because that is a uh, real looks like somewhat like this so let me use this as you can see now currently it is coming uh, over to my face i need to shift it uh, first of all let's edit it uh, i'll mention watch the end and this is what i want to have and i want to shift it a uh, little bit down firstly i'll reduce some size it's too big you can change the fonts you can change the color i don't want to do that i'll go to video option and this is the position and y axis i want to change and i want to bring it a little bit lower and let me place it where i have spoken watch till end so it will look nicer till end because that is Make sure you watch this video till end so you can see i have spoken here and here is what i would need to place this Make sure you watch this video till end because that is a rare scenario but a very interesting one and so perfect so similar way we can add multiple titles i'll forward this video and quickly add this uh, all the titles <laughs> You can also add images. Uh, suppose I have to insert the Hortonworks image or any image. Uh, I can import it here and drag and drop right here. That that is HDP platform. And as I don't want it to be coming on complete screen, I'll reduce the size. And I can expand to whatever limit I want uh, this to appear on the screen. So once you are done with adding all the titles and everything, uh, in the end also I want to add my animation and my music just to give it a good ending. I'll cut all the low tempo music and let's keep it till here. And again let's fix this. drag and fill it to complete screen and this volume is too high so i'll reduce it a bit so my video is completed See you later and let me add an ending animation as well ending video transition as well so let it be spiral wipe and which looks like this so that was it and now we have completed the edit part now save the project and let's see what we have in fusion tab the fusion tab it's uh, mostly used for uh, adding images 3d stuff but i don't have to do that uh, let's come to color tab this is how the color tab looks so if you want to uh, do some color grading uh, you can uh, 
you can do that uh, using the different functions here like blurring and uh, color fixes the lightning fixes i don't have to do because most of the video uh, that i have recorded is a tutorial which is the laptop screen so that doesn't need any uh, cinematic effect so let me move away this is fair light fair light is uh, mostly used for mixing audio and as i have already recorded and fixed all my audios so i need not change anything here let's go to the last tab that is deliver and here uh, we have to select few options to get our uh, video format correct so here uh, there are a couple of presets that uh, davinci resolve provides for youtube vimeo and different uh, output formats also you can save the uh, different uh, format outputs if you want to import it in final uh, applications like final cut pro premiere but i don't have all that i just want to export it for youtube i'll select this and this also you can export it in different formats i'll select 1080p which is the perfect one because anyways uh, 2k uh, the video itself the input uh, itself should be 2k at least to get the correct uh, optimized video for this particular option but i have only in 1080p so this is enough you can also export 4k uh, but that is uh, limited to the studio version of davinci resolve so for my usage 1080p is perfectly fine let's give a name to this output file deploying spark to hdp and uh, give the location where you want to save this and click on save now when you have configured all the options and all the configurations correct you have to click on add to render key. so this will go and similarly if you have different configuration you want one for uh, 4k one for 2k one for vimeo you can select that option and keep adding to the render queue this is the final render queue but i have only one timeline i'll just click start render and here is when the video uh, all the titles all the uh, color grading all the audio fusions what you have done that will start getting rendered to a video so this is quite resource extensive uh, this is the time when uh, the editing software will be using most of your resources let me show you here you can see currently 100% of my CPU is used around 8.2 GB RAM is used I think uh, when it comes to uh, taking up that 3D titles it uh, it will increase more and you can see now my GPU is getting used around 23% so mostly I have seen uh, while rendering uh, videos this GPU gets used up to somewhere around 25 to 30 percent max while playing games this goes up to 70 or 80 somewhere 95 percent also so most of the uh, juice of your uh, graphical processing unit is taken by the games and the editing softwares now let's wait for this this will take some time and now we can see this is completed in somewhat around 7 minutes 21 seconds and you can see in the output we got the final video so this is basically how I used to edit. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done. See you guys, see you later.